So, I, but I wish, I wish, that's a, that's one small, small regret, tiny regret I have, is that I wish I eventually um, continued learning the piano at a young age. Now, it's still not too late. I would love to learn the piano, and I know you can start learning at any point, so I need to get myself a keyboard or something, because that'd be awesome. But piano is a ridiculously useful instrument um, and a lot easier to be able to play, I think, than a clarinet. Now, now, given, of course, the clarinet is a lot more mobile than a piano, but, you know, it's easier to get back into playing the piano because it's like riding a bike. When you're playing a wind instrument or like a woodwind or a brass instrument, it's harder to jump right back into it because your embouchure is in your mouth, the muscles around your mouth, um, they um, naturally become stronger when you're playing an instrument. And when you just stop playing an instrument, especially if, you get, if you're away from playing your instrument for years, your muscles around your mouth weaken. And so it's a heck of a lot harder to play an instrument, to just pick up randomly your instrument and start playing again. Uh, I would not be nearly as good at my instrument if I just were to pick it up right now. So. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day I had enough. And I said to myself, someday, I'm going to be a concert pianist. Well, good for you. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter much which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. Oh, that is so true. So little time in this life, we made her do all that we want. Life is so short. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try and other paths to take. So in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones that I took. This is so beautiful. This is really beautiful. I love that. But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? A bird. I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? And the bird. The bird story. Tell her the bird story. A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. His bird! I guess I just wanted to go find them again. His bird friend. Oh, no. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. You sure weren't a fan of us. All right, I want to go this way first and examine the squids. I like that speech that Faye said. That's really cool. Let's examine these. A giant walled aquarium. Go on, I'll be right there. Good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. What? Alright. Alright. Just me and Neil, I guess. We're gonna be in the middle at some point. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Sorry, Sophia. Sophia was what was what what gave that speech, not Faye. Sorry, I'm getting them too mixed up. No one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? 
You'd better have. It's going to be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase, and yes... What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Wanna draw a plane? No one'll be here to see it anyway. Um, I wonder whatever happened to Faye. Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. Closed airport. The airport calling a train that closed down. That's kind of sad. So many memories here. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder, the, the owner is not here anymore. The family run business. These shells sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. You've always liked that picture, yes? You've always liked that picture, yes? I had them save it for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Thanks. Oh boy, ties to the mafia. Wonderful. Thanks, boss. This is kind of sad. Watching this place close down, you know? <whistles> so, what's the next step? With the airport closing down and all? Sure. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know, I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. Want to help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be much of help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still a work in progress. It's the bird. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know. Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. Oh no. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. Aww. I... Okay. Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm-hmm. 
note drifted apart. Oh. Colin and Faye had drifted apart. So, do you think he was just really dense or plain not interested? I don't know. Are we gonna be. Is this what we're gonna do? Are we gonna have him relive his entire life, but instead of being with Sophia, he's gonna be with Faye? That's kind of uncomfortable for me to do. You know, put him with another woman? I don't know how I feel about that. Why don't you ever twirl your hair like that? Why don't you ever twirl your hair like that? Oh, is 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 wait? Was Watts sort of implying something about how he feels about Rosaline? Or or oh, it's odd how much a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Here, I got an idea. Received. Permanent marker. He just gave him a mustache. There, now let's go get paid. You moron. You can't just draw him a smile like that. <laughs> Lips are red, not black. Great job. Now he looks like an affectionate joker. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have almost burned through all the memories, haven't we? I guess the vortex should be just up ahead. Good, maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. Why does it always have to be about a girl, though? And it's not just about a girl or a boy. I was like, what, is it always about romance? Because that's, I feel like that's what the last game was about. So if this whole, the premise of this game is about romance again, like romancing a girl that you kind of liked, um, I just feel like that's a little repetitious, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll see where this goes. I just feel like we've done, we've already done that already. We've seen that already. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we would try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? That's true. He doesn't want anything changed with his family, so we can't have him marry her instead, right? Because that would mess up his family. And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? What? C could it be? Dr. Roxy Winters, it's me, Roxy! It's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh. How's it going on in there? Uh, awesomely, of course. How are, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork, all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. Dr. Rob said, I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask about the machine. I think I saw... I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocol, Ziva. Collins are patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never care even cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. What? When were you on for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. 
Hey! Well, that was weird. What is going on with Watts? Act two. You don't have to leave anymore. Oh, wow, we're on act two now. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt? Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time! That's amazing! I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're going to have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the Doc's Rocks. Doc's Rocks. I'm going to go check on Colin. Oh, you're just going to get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob. But did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. Oh, The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out! Uh-oh. Hey, hey, Rob, how's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you tripping again. No, I am not. In fact, tripping again. <laughs> Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just going to go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm going to go check on Colin. <laughs> oh my. Alright, now that we're back in the real world. Um, what shall we do? I see, I see that glowing thing. I'm not going to it just this moment. Oh. Sophia, you're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories? Why not? Sure. Sure, bring it up. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Oh, okay. Well, I guess she's not gonna do it. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. But now... I don't think it matters much anymore. Now their husband's gone, it doesn't matter. Or with her husband's about to be gone, it doesn't matter. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then it'd be just another incomplete piece of reality. Oh, the, oh, right in the fields, oh. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply Stay with the reality I've come to peace with. Oh, this game gets deep. I love that. This game gets really deep. There is, however, something I wanted to ask. Only because I feel it's meant for me. I got a question for you guys out there. If you were in 
Sophia's position, would you want to know? Would you want to know about, you know, some of the regrets that your husband or your spouse had, um, and they may or may not involve you in some way? Are those things that you would actually want to know? Or would you rather just let those confidential pieces just stay with your spouse? And as she said, be in peace, be at peace with the reality that she personally knows, or you would personally know. I'm really curious what you guys think. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here and like this? No, I was actually gonna ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now, it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Okay, so that's the one thing she does want to know. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. That was a really deep conversation. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. Alright. Where's Eve? Eva. Rosaline. Oh, yes. <laughs> These are such cute photos. Oh, so cute. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Received note, photo album. Yeah, we didn't see any of those. Barely any of the happy memories captured here were seen during the memory traversal. I wonder why. Is he holding on to the bad memories for some reason? Why hold on to the bad memories? Why not embrace the good ones? Hmm. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. There's Rosaline. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How is he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring th things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm not only telling you what I see. Anyway, I just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. That's interesting. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well, yeah. Alright, come on. Why not, like, add in all the scenes, as many scenes as possible? I don't know if it's, gonna ma if it's going to be a big impact later, but we'll find out. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. Oh, so the opposite. Asher really wants to know, which makes sense. He's a little bit younger, and he's younger than his mom, and therefore I can see that. So please, could you tell me? Since when was Dr. Watts ever a huge stickler for protocol? You know, since when? Reveal info about Colin. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always going to have cravings and longings for what-ifs. He's just 
curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as, as a part of his new life. Hope that helps for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I'll hope something works out. We'll do what we can. Yeah, keep the family intact. Thank you for your service. I hope you'll work something out. Try not to aggravate him in there. I'll continue monitoring him for abnormal activity. She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Is there anything going on outside? I should give Eve a call to see what's up in there. Is there really nothing in outside? All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Give her a call. Maybe I should check in with Eve Eva first. Well, I did. She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Patient Neuralink established. Systems online. View connection status. External neuro connections. One operator profiles. Dr. Eva Rosaline. Hey, Eva. Do you hear me? Neil? Yup, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more somewhere here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... What happened? Where are my pills? <gasps> oh no! Neil's condition! Which we don't really know much about. Neil? I'd better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. That's what he needed to come out for. He needed to get his pills. Oh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, just make it quick. Oh, his pills. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. Oh, well, I was trying to go outside anyway. What is... What is Watts's... Neil Watson's condition? That's the biggest mystery from the first game. That never... I was hoping would reveal itself during this game. Because what I had anticipated... What, who's this? Potato? Hey, mister! I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. It's a potato head kid. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. It does look kind of like a potato. You named your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Oh my gosh. Ooh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin? You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. He did? Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, aww. But whatevs. So anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait. Lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. Yeah, I figured there was a secret message on those blank pages. I mean, that's one of the oldest tricks in the book. You just have to get a black light, and you'll see all the things. It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good, read well. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh... 